continue with the last presentation. Okay, so um, welcome to my last presentation and maybe as an introduction, does somebody already have some experience with Percy.io or even used it already? Yes, exactly. Okay. Well, if you haven't heard about it yet, then I will introduce it to you. So yes, as you already said, uh, Percy is basically a continuous visual integration. So it's like a CI, but for all the UI. And basically, if you abstract it for your CSS. And what it does is basically, so it's like uh, I said, um, tool for solving layout issues and it basically just takes screenshots during your feature tests and then provides an interface to comp uh, compare these screenshots to screenshots which were taken previously or which are in the current development environment and if you um if everything is good you can approve the changes then and if you see that there's something wrong you obviously can um, reject and redo it and what's also nice um, there's github integration so you uh, don't have to have like a separate service which um, is like in a different environment from your already uh, from your current um, programming environment so um, I think the easiest way to show you Percy is just to do a demo. So I have this application. It's a really basic Rails application. It's just uh, a list of pretty much every university in this world. You can <laughs> and you can search them, and when you click on them, you get. Uh, little details page uh, with the name and you can open their website or you can open it in Google Maps. And I've received uh, a request from the client. Um, he wants another button to open um, maybe like a, a stats page or another details page. So I'm going to implement this button right now. This is the code for it or the view for it um, it's really simple it's just a bootstrap card with um, some columns and here are those two links and now I'm going to open this uh, write this link quickly so it's basically like all the other ones and if I'm going to refresh it there we have our button which doesn't do a lot but it's there and ticket is done. So I'm going to <laughs> it's, it's nice if everything goes so fast. <laughs> uh, now I'm going to push it, commit it, and make a pull request on GitHub. Luckily I or, uh, already did this. <laughs> yeah, I'm really, I'm really fast developer. And um, as you can see, I have a normal CI which checks um, unit tests and also does some feature tests and here I also have the purse integration and my unit tests passed and my feature tests obviously also passed but um, I have some visual differences which I should have a look at so if I press on details it redirects me to Percy and here I can see a screenshot which was taken from the development environment and a screenshot which is my new change and uh, as i can see it um the differences is that there's a new button so yeah that's good i wanted to have this and there's a difference in the id because of the randomness of my tests and i also have a second difference so uh, it's just the index list and there's also the difference because of the randomness but what What's really nice about Percy, that's just screenshot on desktop, but it also takes screenshots on mobile. And here we can really see the advantage of Percy. So 
as you can see, um, it broke my layer completely, and I didn't really uh, notice it because I only developed on desktop and didn't check the mobile page. And it's also clearly highlighted that there's a difference. So um, if this would be a real project, I would maybe not do the the links with a bootstrap column system. But yeah. <laughs> so. so you now may ask yourself, how do I integrate PERS into my existing projects? It's very straightforward. You have to register at percy.io and then there's a gem called Percy Capybara, which you will have to add to your gem file. Then there's also a little bit of setup you will have to do before it. So in your spec helper, just configure um, your suite to initialize the build before the test run and also after the tests run, finalize the build and send it to percy.io. And in your tests itself, you can just take a snapshot by calling Percy Capybara dot snapshot. Then you can also specify uh, a name so you know which part of the application it represents. And there's also a bit more configuration you can do, like um, specifying default widths for your screenshots. So here. Uh, I made an example with all the bootstrap classes, so you could have like a screenshot for extra small devices, for small, medium, large, and extra large screens. And that's pretty much it. You don't have to do anything um, further. It um, automatically recognizes when you do a pull request and or when you just commit to your develop branch. So maybe to make it a bit more substantial. I'm going to introduce you to a project um, of our company. It's called Bunken Tracker. And here we've introduced Percy um, a while ago. So um, this is a form which um, got changed in a pull request. And here Percy clearly stated the difference between, um, uh, between the current application and the feature which would have been added. But there's also a second application which may be a bit more interesting. Um, it's an application to choose your, your employer or which employer you would like to work for. And um, you have a card and a no and yes button to the ref left and to the right and you can swipe this card onto themselves. And this is also a comparison which was made in Percy.io. And you probably would think that these look quite similar. So without Percy, I wouldn't notice that there's actually a difference between those um, pictures. <laughs> Can you find it? <laughs> so with Percy, I can clearly see that uh, I forgot or I mistakenly removed the padding class in uh, in both buttons and I could fix them. <laughs> yes. So that's that's really hand uh really useful because I wouldn't have noticed it without Percy. And also if you have like an absolute container or something like this and it overlays something, feature tests wouldn't really notice it because they just find the element and click on it maybe or do whatever you said um, and don't really recognize that there's actually something overlaying um, your testing, your test up button. But with this you <laughs> can obviously notice it. Yeah, and I would also just highlight again, um, it's integrated into pull requests, so you really have to approve all visual changes so that you can be sure that everything looks fine when you put it to the customer. Yeah, so that's it. I provided the Percy IO link and also um, my demo. You can go and check it out if you want. 
Um, yeah. Is there any question? Yes. Yeah. It only compares the screenshot, so you actually make a screenshot of the rendered um, rendered site which you did with Copybara. Mm -hmm. How do you trade off tests? You, I, I think you could just just, just your experience. Those projects, do you cover every page? In I think we it makes really sense to um, just test like the the critical path the user takes, and I mean if there's a padding difference in your static page, uh, like the text is a little bit lower than before, um, you really have to think of <laughs> whether it makes sense to to correct this. So um, I think it's really worth like. Um, in this example, um, this is the main functionality of the whole app to just swipe cards. And you really want to get sure that it looks fine on each device. And But there's also um, a second page, uh, like an administrative page, which only gets used by the customer itself. And if he really likes visual uh, or um, looking great looking applications, then you, you could introduce it. Um, but I think it doesn't make sense for something that's not really critical to the application itself, as it also introduces uh, a bit of overhead. But I mean, it also runs on the CI, so it only um, extends your running time on the CI and not your development workflow. I mean, it's only just one line you have to insert and you're done. So it's um, quite nice. Yeah, thank you. Um, and not yet. Um, the only downside I can think of is that it's pretty expensive, especially for um, smaller companies. But um, if you compare it to maybe um, fixing uh, <laughs> a whole application which was broken by CSS, I think it's worth the price. So, um, yeah. It's also quite fast. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, but uh, maybe my test is just um, quite shitty because I use it like this. Um, it would make more sense to just make a static list of um, universities with a static name. So then when you compare it, Percy also doesn't ask you to co uh, to review the visual change um, because it detected no, um, no difference. It only asks you for detected differences. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Um, Since there are those two issues that we're talking about, so the random data per head, but I think we run them separate. We have just one system what it does is go through the app, this runs in parallel with the other test, so it doesn't have the per head. There, we also avoid that. At the downside, <laughs> <laughs> the builds for one hour or okay. <laughs> 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 
Okay, but preparing my demo application, um, everything actually worked fine, so it was quite fast. But I mean this one. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Let's try. So this one's approved. Yes. Okay. So it's um, a set. Yes. Mm -hmm. From yourself. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a sharp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think there they could. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I th also um, think there's a really dangerous button on top <laughs> here. So <laughs> it's just it says just approve all, even if you have like 20 differences. Just I mean, if you have a really big application and 20 screenshots and you have. And you just um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> and maybe maybe you just adapted the footer height or something like this, and then you would have twenty screenshots you would have to review, and this can get obviously quite annoying. So um, it's yes, it it can be dangerous, but at least it's um, better than having nothing. <laughs> so. Mm. Yes, you, yeah, like you already said, it doesn't protect. <laughs> okay. Then that's it. Thank you. Thank you.